Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to write the equation of a periodic function from the given graph. So on the screen here I have a graph that I want to find the equation of and it has to be in the form y equals a sine x minus d plus c. So just recall that the, the a is going to tell us if it's going to be um, stretched or compressed. The D is going to tell us if we're moving right or left and the C is going to tell us if we're going to be moving up or down. And the A will also tell us if there's a reflection in the x-axis. Alright, so here are the steps. So step one says add x or add axes of curve to the graph and that's going to be your vertical shift. Um, vertical means going up and down. So how do we find this axis of curve? So the axis of curve is found by um, looking at the minimum and the maximum point. So we can see our minimum point is at negative 4 and our maximum point is going to be at 2. And we need to find the point in between those two. So the way we do that is we add them together. So negative 4 plus 2. And then we're going to divide by 2. We want the average of those two values. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, and divided by 2 is negative 1. So our axis of curve should be at y equals negative 1. This should say y equals because it is an equation. It is a straight line. Um, so I'm just going to add that. So it's going to be in this spot right here. Okay. And you can see that it will be exactly in the middle. Um, so that's going to be our vertical shift, which is the C value. So we know our C is going to be negative 1. There we go. Uh, point, uh, part 2 says pick a point on equation of the curve. So on our equation of the curve, we want to pick a point that crosses the graph, um, and that's called the horizontal shift. So on our graph, we have two options. There's an option right here and there's an option right here. And that's because we can write this equation in two different ways, um, which will produce the same graph. Um, so I'm gonna focus on this one right here for now, and then I will write the second one um, in a minute. So pick a point in the equation of the curve that crosses the graph, and that's a horizontal shift. So you can see that point is going to be at negative 90. Right, if you look up here, look at your just trace that up to your graph, um, to, to the um, x-axis, and you can see that it's at negative 90. So our d is negative 90, and the equation is x minus d, which means it's x minus negative 90, which is like x um, plus 90 inside the bracket here. So, Okay, so we have part of the equation already um, with a sign in the front. So all we're looking for now is the A. Is it going to be stretched or compressed? And um, is it going to be a reflection? So let's look at number three. It says find the amplitude, and that will be the stretch or the compression. The amplitude is found by looking for the, the axis of the curve and then the maximum or the minimum. So from our curve going up to the maximum, what is the distance between here? And you can see it's going to be uh, between 2 and negative 1. The difference between there is 3. So our um, amplitude is going to be 3. So that's the value that goes in front of the equation. Now, how do we tell if it's a reflection? So here, number 4, I have written that it's a reflection if we're moving up um, or sorry, reflection if we're moving down from the chosen point. So our chosen point in step 2 was uh, this point that I've circled here, this point here, and we can see that it's moving up on the graph, right? We're moving up to the right, which means that it's not a reflection, okay? Um, if we were moving down, it would be a reflection, and that, that's where the second form of this equation comes in. So I can enter this equation that I have here into Desmos, Okay, and it's going to produce this graph here. But this equation, um, or this graph, can also be written a different way. It could be written as 3 sine x minus 90 subtract 1. 
as a reflection. And that would be if I was focusing on this point over here. So if I had chosen that to be my point, all right, um, now I have 90, okay, as my horizontal shift instead of negative 90. So that's why I wrote x minus 90 in the bracket. Um, and what it also means is the it's going to be a reflection because moving from that point along the graph to the right, we're moving down in this direction, okay, which is going to create that negative sign in front of our amplitude. Okay, it says reflection if moving down from the chosen point, and this one moves down, so it's a reflection. Okay, so I can enter this into Desmos, and it will, it will um, create the exact same graph as my first equation. Okay, so all equations um, have more than one version, right? Depending on which point you pick along, the, along your graph um, that crosses the axis of curve that we created in the first step. All right, good luck. And um, there's a little bit of homework posted in Google Classroom for this topic. Have a great day.